on to my favorite topic, the Chidambaram family. Well, something amazing happened today. The Sarada Chit Fund scam. This was first unearthed right in the first few years of Modi's coming to power. In fact, in 2015, there was a lot of activity and I'm going to walk you through what had happened. But now the Enforcement Directorate has attached properties worth six crores of Nalini Chidambaram. How did this come to here? Let's take a quick walk down memory lane. Sarada scam. Who were the players? Nalini Chidambaram, P. Chidambaram, because there were some quid pro quo kickbacks that happened, and Sudipto Sen, the owner of Sarada scam. Now, I'm going to give you a bunch of references in the description section so you can go and look at what happened over the past several years in this Sarada chit fund scams. So, here are some big numbers. Here we go. Here are some big details. The total amount was 2,489 crores of which only 500 crores more or less has been returned to investors. So there is a lot of money still left that has to be returned back to the investors. The enforcement directorate having caught a few individuals has recovered up to about 600 crores. The amount that uh, Nalini Jidambaram has coughed up is only a paltry six crores. So one can make the argument that, well, this is just a drop in the bucket. Allegedly, the Chidambaram family is worth six lakh crores. By this time, probably it has gone to even 10, 12 lakh crores. Who knows? Money, you know, the number of zeros that are getting added is just beginning to lose meaning. But what is important is the effort. Why was this done? How this is going to affect other things? That's what we have to wait and see. Now, is this the only thing that uh, Nalini Chidambaram is embroiled in? I'm talking about the individual Nalini Chidambaram, not P. Chidambaram, not Karthi Chidambaram. Well, there is this case of Comfort Inn where there was a, a brazen hotel grab that was done. And there is a conversation that we have actually given you the transcripts to about how Nalini Chidambaram threatened the owner of the Comfort Inn, Dr. Kadrivel. That's for a different day. You can look it up. Uh, comfort in and you'll see a whole bunch of articles in P Gurus about what happened, where the state of that case is. That case is in, uh, I think either Delhi High Court or Supreme Court. I don't remember which one of those two. It's in a court in Delhi. So you can see that this family wielded power like no one else. Arrogance, hubris doesn't even begin to describe the kind of attitude Nalini Chidambaram as a lawyer had. And P Chidambaram was in and out of power. I mean, from 2004, of course, he was, he had a um, un uninhibited run for 10 years and and again now you know that after 2014 it was Jaitley. I mean Jaitley and Chidambaram they people say that they are two sides of the same coin. Everything continued the way it was before that. The See that, that was one of the challenges for the Modi government to get around Jaitley to get at uh, Chidambaram. In fact if you look at the first imprisonment that took place of Chidambaram of 106 days it went it started the day after I think uh, Jaitley was uh, admitted in Ames with coma where they expected that, you know, he's not going to come out of it. So you see the amount of hold that Jaitley had on Modi. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the data. That's what the data is telling me. Anyway, at least now some of these things are beginning to go home. What is this six crores? It's not even a drop in the bucket. Six lakh crores is what we had computed a few years ago. By now with the COVID, some people made insane amounts of money. It might be 10, 12, 15 lakh crores. Who knows? The zeros are losing significance. We are also being told that Mr. Karthi Chidambaram, being the MP of Sivaganga, is spending more and more time in London. He seems to have moved his family, shifted his wife. His daughter is studying in England. And, and, and so we are seeing that this person is slowly but surely, you know, getting himself, himself out of the picture. I don't know how long this guy is going to carry on this charade before he says enough. I'm going to be completely going to be settled in London. I think that's what's going to happen. As always, the Babudam in the middle has made sure that none of these people are caught. At least they made it very difficult for those who are sincere, who want to go about their job. But unfortunately, you know what happens to all the sincere employees. They either get axed or they get suspended. They get transferred. A lot of bad things happen. This is the state of India. This is the state of Indian politics. Who brought it here? One of the main persons was Mr. Paraniyappan Chidambaram. Support us by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.